Hello everyone and welcome. This is Fitness and Nutrition Simplified. This is where we're going to take big topics and we're going to break them down into something more easy to understand. So we're not we're not going to talk about jargon. Or we're, we're going to talk about jargon, but we're not going to have a jargon-filled podcast. I'm going to break it down so it's easy to understand. Today we're going to talk about something called hypertension. Now you've probably heard this, hypertension might sound like a big fancy word, but we're going to make it super simple. So we're going to start off by knowing what exactly hypertension is. Now it's just a big fancy word, probably Greek or Latin, and it's a word for high blood pressure. Now when you're walking and you're walk up and down the stairs or you run up and down the stairs and your heart starts beating and you go faster, you run a bit faster, you walk a bit faster, your heart starts beating really fast. Now that's your heart pumping blood all around your body. And blood pressure is the force or the push of your blood as it moves through your blood vessels. Now imagine you're blowing up a balloon and the air inside the balloon, you're like... And the air inside the balloon is pushing outwards against them that balloon wall. Now, if you blow too much air, the balloon might burst. We've all been through that. Now, with high blood pressure, it's like there's too much pressure in your blood vessels, which can be dangerous over time, just like the balloon. So why is it bad? Obviously, it might be a bit dangerous, but why or how? So imagine your blood vessels are like water pipes running around your house. Now if there's too much pressure in them pipes, they could burst, causing a flood, causing a massive mess. The same thing can happen in our bodies if our blood pressure stays high for a long time. It can damage our blood vessels. It can also damage important organs like the heart the kidneys, the brain. Now this damage can lead to serious health problems, heart attacks, strokes, kidney disease. So why do people get hypertension? So there's a few reasons. Sometimes it runs in families. Sometimes your parents, your grandparents have had it. And you might get it too. Other times it happens because of the way people live their lives. Smoked. Drank. It's your lifestyle. Eating too much salty foods. Not exercising enough. Being overweight because of them things. Even being really stressed out all the time can cause high blood pressure. You need time to just bring it back so yeah being stressed sometimes is good but you need to really rein it back so if you live a lifestyle that's really stressful and you're just on the edge all of the time find time for yourself to bring that all back if you eat too much sweets (laughs) instead of fruits and veg then your body might kneel, might not feel so good. Yeah, we know that. The same goes for blood pressure. If you don't take care of yourself, your blood pressure can go up. So is hypertension always bad? Well, not always. I mean, sometimes our blood pressure goes up for a short time. Like the examples at the start, if we're running or if we're really excited, if you've got that feeling when you're really, really excited and your heart just starts beating. Now they're normal. Like when you're running, your blood wants to get, your heart wants to pump blood through your body quicker because we're going quicker. The issue is if it stays high all of the time, so if we're sat, relaxed, watching telly and our hearts are still beating really fast we need to ask why 
And if our heart starts pumping really fast and the blood pressure starts is being high all of the time, that is when it becomes the issue. Now imagine if you're running a race and you never stopped running. Eventually you get really tired. Your heart and your blood vessels will get tired as well. They're always working too hard if you did that. So how can we control it? So this is the good news. There are ways we can prevent or control hypertension, high blood pressure. Here are some tips. Eat healthy. Again, a nice balanced diet. So I'm not saying never eat anything ever again. Never eat cake and never eat chocolate ever again. No. Just balance. Start eating healthy. Eating fruits, vegetables, foods that are low in sugar, low in salt. This can keep your blood pressure normal. Like fueling your body for the right kinds of energy. Exercise regularly. Move your body. Again, move your body. Make your heart beat and your heart pump. That's the good kind we want. It's a good blood pressure we want. In the more we do that, the more that your heart stays strong and healthy. It doesn't have to be boring. No one's saying go to the gym if you don't like the gym. No one's saying go for a run if you don't like running. Do what you love to do. If you've got dog, walk the dog. If you like walking along the beach, walk along the beach. Do what you love to do and that way you'll keep on doing it because it's something you enjoy. The more we do that, the more we exercise regularly, the more we eat healthy, we're going to now drop down to a healthier weight. And if your body's a healthy size or healthier size, then it's now easy for your heart to do its job. I've said before, relax and de-stress. That's the next tip. Find time to relax. What do you like to do again? Do you like to draw? So this is an exercise. It's sit down at a desk or at a table or on your knees, draw, colour, read them colouring books years ago, read, sit in a dark room and just breathe deeply, <laughs> just all these things, relax and de-stress, now this can help your blood pressure go down again, and regular checkups, now if this is something that's actually troubling you or you think it might be an issue, then go to the doctor's. And regular checkups. It's like taking your, your car to the mechanic. We need to do that every year, the MOT. Yet none of us go to the doctor quite as often. Make sure everything's running smoothly with us as well as the car. Now, what happens if you've already got hypertension? Can it be fixed? Are you on medication? Well, it can't always be completely fixed, but it can be managed. Doctors might have given you medicine or tablets or medication to help lower your blood pressure. Probably also suggest that doing healthy thing, things that I've just talked about. I mean, it's like giving, when you get a cavity in your tooth, you might need a filling, but brushing and flossing your teeth can help stop more cavities from happening. This is what we're trying to do. Medication might lower your blood pressure now, but if we continue doing the things we've talked about, eating healthy, maintaining a healthier weight, that might stop other things happening and other and continuing to get high blood pressure. So if we do things now, we can prevent things happening in the future. Okay, what's that been, about 10 minutes? So let's recap. Hypertension, 
just a fancy word for high blood pressure. Now it's important to keep your blood pressure at a healthy level so our bodies can stay strong and healthy. We can do this by eating right, exercising and taking care of ourselves. And even though the word hypertension might sound scary, there's lots of things we can do to prevent it or manage it if we have got it already. So let's take care of our hearts and our bodies. Okay? Thank you so much. That's all for today. Fitness and Nutrition Simplified. Thanks for hanging out with me. Learn about hypertension. And make sure to share what you've learned with your friends and family. It might, might, you never know, if you haven't found it helpful, someone out there might find it really, really helpful. So please share this podcast or this video or however you're listening to this. Please share what you've learned today and send them a link. Really help me out. It could really help someone else out. And don't forget to tune in next time. Thank you so much for listening. Hopefully we're going to do one of these every week from now on. So stay healthy, stay happy, and keep being amazing. Thank you so much. And until the next time, see you soon. Take care.